Triangles are interesting to work with. You can move them around, shake them a bit, but they're even more interesting with a partner. Two right triangles are especially great because they can form a rectangle. And then the rectangle can be rotated around. Add another triangle, rotate it around and put it together. But here, it's even better with another triangle. Now you have two rectangles that can be rotated. Hey, check it out. There's a space for two squares. Here's one square. And here goes another square. All of these shapes together form an even larger square that can be drawn all around. Let's make this large square hold all the shapes inside of it. Now let's simplify this a little. I'll take uh, out both of these squares so that we just had these two rectangles. There's a bit more wiggle room. You can move these triangles around with inside of this large square. Since we have a lot of space to shuffle these around, let me show you a trick. Move this triangle up, move this triangle to the left, and this blue one, move it diagonally. Whoa, the leftover space is a square. Wait, 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 uh, let's uh, double check and see if there was something wrong. We go back, move this one down. Okay, here are our two spots from before. Now we move it back up, move that to the left, and down, and here's a new square. Let's make it a new actual physical square. That's interesting. So does that mean the first square plus the second square is equal to the third square? Wait, so we have this triangle. We have uh, one square from one side, the other square from the other side. The pink plus the yellow is equal to the orange. Let's look at what a square is. So if we have all sides equal to each other, then the area would be uh, one side times the other side, or that side squared. So if we say that the short side is A, big side is B, and the largest side is C, then we might be able to use our knowledge about the lengths of all of the sides of the triangle to our advantage. We know the area of those squares a squared, b squared, and c squared, we know that the small square plus the next small square is equal to the large square, and we know that the area of a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared.